We are joined by iPod creator, iPhone co-inventor, the founder of Nest Labs and the principal of Future Shape, Mr. Tony Fadel. Thank you for finding time and joining us today. It's uh, great to be here. Thank you. <laughs> it's great to see this a wonderful, wonderful I view know, of the city. Bratislava, Bratislava. Slovakia, Slovakia. Right? First time I've been here. It's great. I, have, I need to come back more. Okay, <laughs> you, so you love it here. Yeah, I just got here and I've just been astounded by what I've seen. Uh -huh. it's really and what nice. are you most excited about having the Stamos here in Slovakia? What are you most looking forward to? Well, for, for me, you know, what's always great about Stamos is that um, we go to such interesting places and interesting places that the world doesn't normally hear about. And because they're so focused on the arts and the sciences in their communities. And so to be here in Slovakia and Bratislava, I just I'm looking forward to learning more about uh, this this community, this society and see what what I can learn and take back with me when I go on my travels. So it's just interesting to be here and a, a city and a country that wants Starmus is very interesting because Starmus is a very, very special thing with astrophysicists and people talking about the future as well as people who are deeply, deeply committed to the arts. So Starmus is special and the, 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 the people who want Starmus to come to them, they're also special. Oh, I'm, I'm sure it's going to be memorable and amazing as always. <laughs> no, I, I, I'm sure it will be. Yeah, you were invited to join the Starmus Advisory Board in 2018. You have substituted Stephen Hawking, who was a great supporter of Starmus and did a lot to bring the top lecturers to this event. What do you think will be your contribution to Starmus? Well, I've been, a, you know, I, I've been honored, obviously, to be able to be part of Starmus back, uh, you know, I get, wow, it's been so many years now. But um, for me, I always want to hear what the people of the, the city that we're visiting, what they want to know. And so what I've been hearing a lot about is people are concerned about, and both optimistic and also very pessimistic about AI mm -hmm. and what's going on with artificial intelligence. So I hope to bring some clarity there. I hope to bring some clarity around some of the things around climate change, mm -hmm. because climate change affects us all. And, um, and when, I, when I've spoken previously, I've talked a lot about that, spoken a lot about that. And I hope to, hope to talk about those two big issues, how AI and climate change can work together to actually help us, as opposed to AI is going to take over the world or climate change is going to destroy us all. How can we put those two technology, those two big things together and actually help us instead of worrying about just all the downsides of those things? Actually, I wanted to ask you, what would you like all the people, the audience, to take with them after your lectures? You kind of all replied, but there is, if there is anything else you would like to add, what would you like people to really take with them after the festival? Well, I think not just from what I talk about, but what I would like people to really understand is that we created the world that we live in. And if there are issues, we can create the things to fix those issues. Mm -hmm. So. We created this, we can get ourselves out of it, and that it takes each of us individually to do that. And hopefully the, through the different talks that people hear at Starmus and the people they meet, they can come with a, a renewed sense of hope and optimism and, um, and passion yeah. for creating and fixing the things they see around them in their communities, in their country, where have you, in their regions. And so I hope that people come with a, a renewed sense of hope and optimism and want to fix the things, because we're going to have to work together in this entire small planet mm -hmm. to um, fix the issues that we are now living with. So if you had an almighty power, <laughs> this is what you would like to change in this world, right? Uh, from, I would like to know from the scientific and humane point of view, if, right. you would, if you had this power, what would you change? Well, from a scientific point of view, I would want anyone who's creating anything to really think um, in a circular fashion, in a systemic fashion. Mm -hmm. Just don't think about the, the start and the end of whatever that is they're doing. Think about how when something is ending or is transitioning, it becomes a new beginning. How do we make circularity in all the things that we do, in how we do our science, and how we do our material science, how we do our physics, all these things. How do we make sure we're in a, in a circular kind of thought so that for 
five, six, seven generations in the future, we're benefiting them, not just our own generation, but we're also benefiting future generations, not leaving problems for them to, 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 to solve. And I think from a humanitarian one, is really about inclusivity, making sure that everyone, not just the people who go to the universities, who have the you know, possibly better experience, are only the ones at the top of society. We need to make sure, as we've seen around the, in nations around the world, the, the poverty gap, or the gap between the lowest in the, in, in the society and the highest in the society is growing. That can't continue. It needs to come back. To, um, to really make a, a healthy society in every country around the world. So those would be the two things that I hope that people take away and, 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 um, from this conference. Wonderful, thank you so much <laughs> for replying you. to this question. And um, let me see, what did you like and remember the most about Starmus in Armenia? No, in Armenia. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I, I'll tell you, um, one, one great thing was, um, my son and his band played in Armenia. Whoa! Yes, tell that us was, more! Tell so, us more! So um, uh, Garrick and the team said, oh, they, they wanted um, more younger talent. So my son and his band with their own songs and everything came from high school. Um, they go to a special music high school called Interlock in, 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 in the U.S. And their band traveled. They played 10 songs for both the um, students of Armenia at a, at a university as well as they played for the town out in an open air thing with thousands of people watching. And so that inspired a lot of youth to yeah. say when they saw the kids up there, not just us old people on stage, <laughs> not, hey, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> I, they said, man, I can do this too. When they saw 15 year olds up there on stage and really rocking. So um, that was really special for me. Yeah, yeah, I didn't know about this fact. <laughs> How great is that? It is really inspiring for young generation. I agree with you. Yep, the young generations are going to, you know, take what we what we give them and they're going to make it a lot better. So, hopefully Starmus also encourages the younger folks to get involved because it is their planet too and it will be their planet that they uh, run. So I hope that uh, they, they come out to this festival. Yeah, yeah, the whole philosophy of, of Starmus is about inspiring. I right, believe. science and communications, yeah. right? Yeah. And yeah. so the more we communicate the, our love of science and how fun it can be, um, you know, when you see astrophysicists being world, world uh, stars at, uh, uh, at music as well and vice versa, uh, you see, you know, uh, you see that at Starmus and that's very unique. And so it's not just a, a lot of work, but we can have a lot of fun at the fun. same time. Yeah. And uh, it's, uh, it's, it's great to have a community like Starmus. True, true. Thank you so much, Mr. Fadel, for this interview. It's, it's short, it's pretty short, but it was full of really interesting uh, facts and uh, replies to my questions. Really, thank you so much for finding time. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. One year. One Starmus, year to here go. we come, Bratislava. Yes, we're coming. <laughs>